Okay, so this is an editing diary of how we are getting on so far with editing and what we have so far done. Um, so first of all what we did was created a folder for the music video and in that folder we've arranged it into small kind of groups of scenes that we've done just because we feel that this makes things easier for when we actually come to edit. So we've like divided them up into the scenes that we shot on the days. So the first scene we shot was the lip syncing. So that's been divided up into quite a few because we obviously had a lot of footage from that day. So we've got number one, which is the first part of the scene, then number two and so on, as well as having effects down the bottom. So this is where we weren't actually lip syncing, but we tried out some special effects kind of on top to put in later. Um, and then we have the different scenes so it just makes it easier. So when we come in to say iMovie, this is how we've got on so far. But by having them on the side like this, it just means that it's very easy for us to drop clips in and edit. So that's quite helpful. So, so far what we've done with the editing is we have bought the song from iTunes and added it in. So it's there and it makes it when we start to edit it, it's just there and we can edit the lip syncing very easily. Um, then what we've done is we have got the lip syncing and we've made almost like a skeleton of the whole music video with it. So from each different clip, as you can see with the lip syncing, we had, we had a lot more than this, a lot of this has been deleted, but we had a lot of different clips from different parts and say like those five bits were all of the same thing so what we did was kind of we took the parts and cut them down to the best bits and then compared them and have slotted them in to the best because every time we filmed say a lyric we would film it three times so then our, looking at the three of them we would look at the best one and go okay and we slotted that in so so far what we've just got it's just a really big skeleton of lip syncing basically. And then some clips, we've kind of got two parts. So there's like alternative views. So as a team, we can decide which ones. And we've got like different angle shots for that as well. Um, which makes it quite good because it just means that when we come to edit hopefully it will be nice and easy and by having the skeleton there it should be able to slot all the other videos around the lip syncing and make sure that we don't miss out on any lip syncing so hopefully that will be good and that's how far we've got without editing so far.